What's going on guys, Olivia Gonzalez here, back with another Pokemon Go video, and in today's video guys, yes, the leaks were correct. Pokemon Go's upcoming community days for this season have been officially revealed from the Pokemon company themselves. So yeah, Pokemon Go Hub did make a whole article about this on their website, so that's where I'm getting this information from. So yes, Rowlet, Porygon Classic Sea Day, and Shansi Sea Days have been revealed. So let's first take a look at the Rowlet Sea Day and when it's happening and what moves it could get during that Sea Day for the Decidueye after evolution. So Rowlet Sea Day will be the first Sea Day of 2024 taking place on January 6th. It is likely that Decidueye, Rowlet's final evolution, will learn the grass type charge attack, frenzy plant like most grass starters do, get that exclusive move for their Sea Days. So yeah, it more than likely will get frenzy plant, but also do remember not too long ago, I think about a month ago, Decidueye's signature move, Spirit Shackle, did get data mined in the game's coding, so that move also could get featured for the upcoming Rowlet Sea Day. And of course, the shiny Rowlet family, as you see right there, is a pretty good looking shiny family for sure. Definitely excited for Shiny Rowlet, the first of the Gen 7 Shiny Starter releases for Pokemon Go. So yeah, I would imagine Litten Sea Day should be taking place a few months after Rowlet, possibly near like April or May would be my guess as to when Litten should get a Sea Day. And then for, of course, the Poplio, maybe sometime around July or August. Now for the Porygon Classic Sea Day, this will be taking place in the month of January too, about two weeks after the Rowlet Sea Day on January 20th. So yeah, do remember Porygon did have a Sea Day back in 2020, which did have a triple catch XP bonus. So it might have a three times catch XP bonus this uh, upcoming Sea Day too. The same goes for Rowlet as well. Rowlet might feature three times catch XP too for the main bonus of the event. And also do remember the Porygon Sea Day did feature time research or field research for both upgrades and Sinnoh stones because you remember those evolutions do require those evolution items. And the exclusive move for Porygon Z was of course the charge attack, tri attack, so that should be coming back too for this upcoming classic C day of Porygon as well. Now for the month of February, there is not going to be a classic C day, only just one C day on February 4th, which does feature the Kanto Pokemon. Chansey. Now, I would imagine that, yeah, most of us do have a shiny Chansey by now. It has been featured quite a bit in the past, and it also has been shiny boosted in the past, and still shiny boosted to this day at the moment. Most people do have this shiny, but this will be a good chance to go after the pre-evolution, the baby Pokemon, Shiny Apini. So if you guys don't have Shiny Apini yet, this event is for you, because it will be featured in 2Ks, and of course, it will be heavily shiny boosted in those 2Ks too. And at this time, it is unknown as to what the exclusive move will be for the Blissey, but I'm assuming probably some type of good PvP move is what they're going to feature for that Blissey. So yeah, guys, again, this is all confirmed from the Pokemon Company themselves. We are getting Rowlet, Classic Porygon, and Chansey for this season's Community Days. So please comment below, guys, which one are you most excited for? Is it the Rowlet? Which, that's my answer. I'm definitely most excited for the Rowlet. Rowlet, or is it Porygon, or is it Chansey? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, drop a like on the video, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.